when last we left off, we were fighting, or we defeated the wizard. We defeated the wizard scribe, and uh, we were going to head north to fight the computer guy. Now, we did that. We fought the computer guy, and then we went east from there, and we fought Leshy. And then we saw what happened once we had defeated all four. Unfortunately, I didn't record that. So, yeah, we've got a bit of a time jump here. So, a yeah, quick, quick summary. It was cool. There's, there's not anything too big that happens in terms of fighting the, the CPU deck scribe or fighting Leshy. Uh, Leshy was kind of like a nostalgic thing. Uh, you, you visit the angler and the trapper and the, uh, the prospector. There's actually a nice thing where the trader that's in each of the scribe's towers, uh, you actually gave him a thing and then he turns into the trapper and then you can fight the trapper before you fight Leshy. So I thought that was nice. That was, that was pretty cute. Um, but yeah, each of them, the two of them had their own cool gimmicks for their towers. And after defeating them, you get to go back to that center to island where it shows the four monuments to the four scribes, I guess. And they actually ask you which scribe you want to replace. So me starting as the wizard deck, I figured I may as well replace the wizard. On top of that, from a moral standpoint, I guess, of the four scribes, the wizard seemed to be like an awful person. I know Leshy was the one who kind of trapped everybody, uh, including us, for a very long time. But the wizard guy was like actually torching his students. So don't like that guy. Got to replace him and make, make their lives better. So yeah, I chose to replace the wizard guy. We started, I don't know, some kind of... Uh, I don't know, we walked up to his, to his monument thing and then light started happening. But then the CPU guy actually interrupted us, and there was a little bit of a hint at that that was that was going to happen. They were, I think they were hinting at that in the wizard tower as well, saying something about the CPU guy. Uh, and then Leshy was saying some more about it, and then he actually got interrupted by the CPU guy. We got sent off to the center island, went to the monuments, and the CPU guy went and, and actually took over. So in much the same way as we started off an inscription in Leshy's cabin, playing against Leshy and uh, you know, just playing with the beast decks, essentially. Now, and I'm, I've sort of rushed through this, but now we have actually had everything taken over by the CPU guy. And we're now playing with the CPU deck in very similar fashion to the, the run-throughs that we were playing with Leshy, but with some notable differences, which I'll, I'll show you now. So, continue in. It's really cool how different it is feels despite being the same so our map instead of with leshy where it was a map where you're like traveling upwards uh and you could see where you're going here you actually have waypoints so i got to the second waypoint and that's when i realized i wasn't recording so i haven't i haven't actually made a whole lot of progress but this is like a reenactment i guess of the actual world map so this is that center island, this is the CPU place, this is Leshy's place, the undead place, and the wizard tower. Obviously I've only gone this far, so again, I haven't made a whole lot of progress here. But it's uh, it's very cool. So, you, so you're moving around the map, and you go from zone to zone, and we're going across a bridge here. Ugh, he says, this data scrapyard is pretty unpleasant. Its inhabitants, grasping claws, seek fresh bots. Watch your ankles. So we could go here and fight a guy. We could go to the right and see what's over here. Uh, I'm guessing that's a secret thing. I don't know. Uh, we get power-ups along the way. We get different cards. I can show you the cards we have. They operate very differently. So like we were seeing with the Stim Mage, you get energy every turn. This is a very generic mana from Hearthstone, if you know that, or, or a few other online card games. Um, and then the... And then the so you get plus one maximum energy every turn, and then that energy re replenishes every turn. So it's a very different way of playing your cards from what how we did with Leshy and how we did with the Mage deck as well. Um, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So the cost is in the top right here, just like we had with Leshy with the sacrifices. Obviously the attack and power in the bottom. They have some different abilities. So here the energy bot, he actually increases our maximum energy. So if you play him on the second turn, you now have three energy instead of only two energy on your second turn, although you spent two to cast him. But it boosts you for the next turn afterwards. Uh, the maximum is six. So energy bot 
becomes worthless later on, but you still use him as a blocker. You get the shield bot. This guy actually, uh, the first time he takes a hit, he would prevent he prevents that damage. Now that's the first time after you've put him down. Once he's been hit, the shield is gone forever. Sniper bot's really cool. You choose where he attacks. So you put him down in one row. He doesn't always attack the right ahead of him. You get to pick where he goes. The double gunner just has bifurcated strike. The sentry drone normally just he shoots whoever appears in front of him, which is a very cool ability. And then we also got the option to add a sigil to him. We didn't have to sacrifice anybody for it. We just got to choose a sigil and we chose poison so that he could just automatically kill anyone that goes in front of him. Seems pretty nice. Uh, just got a fish bot, gift bearer. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, a random card is created in your hand. So that's quite a different ability. We do have a we have a gift bot over here that does the same thing. And then I guess fish bot does that at a higher cost, but also one attack and th higher health. Ourobot is actually like the Ouroboros, but he costs six energy instead of two sacrifice. Um, that's all right. Whatever. That's fine. Actually, like once you get to six energy, that's actually pretty good because you have six, six energy every turn. We got a double gunner again and another energy bot. So not a big deck. Again, I haven't made a whole lot of progress in this. Fortunately, it would be a lot more aggravating if I had made a lot of progress and then realized. Um, we cannot stand up from the... Oh, we can now. Oh, okay. Sorry. I take that back. We were initially locked down to the desk here. Like we were not allowed to get up. And here's our opponent, you know, the CPU guy who's taken over Leshy's position as a hegemon is what they referred to him as of the four scribes. Um, now he sent us to get a battery because the this little hologram deck that we're playing with, uh, it ran out of battery. So we were sent off over here. We had to do a little puzzle, which we succeeded at. I had to do a little puzzle on this that succeeded at that. There's a security camera here that I can't click on, but uh, but doing those two puzzles formed this bridge. We went across and we took a battery out of here. Now I see a skull up there. Um, I don't think there's anything else we can do. This thing, when we click, it just spins. Not sure what to do with that. I can't click on it while it's spinning. Maybe that's important. Maybe not. Uh, this we got. What did we get out of this? Oh, I think that's what we got the fish bot out of. Was clicking on that. Um, yeah, and that's as far as I can tell. All there is to see here for now. Actually, I guess I didn't. Yeah, I did go over here. So this might be a quest. So like we had the painting with the the quests where you had to arrange the cards in certain patterns. Maybe this is similar. We have to get this card or something. I don't know. Print progress. Can't click on anything here. Now we do have a clock and I did when I put it to 11 o'clock. This popped out, but I can't click on it. I don't know if that's bugged or if it's supposed to be like that. We also got something out of the bottom here. What was that? It's possible that was the fish bot. I actually don't remember, um, which is embarrassing because it was like not very long ago. Oh, did we do these? I don't think I did these. Okay, hey, that's great. What is that? Oh, mighty leap. A card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature. Oh, we just found a rule book. Hang on, does the rule book have any hints in it? Let's look for anything. Um, the CPU's explanation overclocked. A card bearing the sigil has increased power, but if a card bearing the sigil per perishes, it is immediate permanently removed from your deck. Whoa. Interesting. This bomb latch ability is pretty cool. I got a card with that at one point. Um, yeah. So the CPU's explanation for that clock appearing is that there are glitches because what we're in is a simulation, I guess. Um, oh yeah, and we got this item here that lets us refill our energy once. Okay, well let's do these puzzles then. We cannot move either of those. I'm trying to hit five, now that's a defender. If we do this, then great, we deal two damage, that's good. Uh, the bombs will destroy, so this detonation symbol destroys anything adjacent to it, including its own guys. Uh, so if we actually do this, that will let us do four damage. So we'll get two and four. Oh wait, we won't get two because that one's going to hit. That's going to destroy this. So what we want to do is like this. 
So this bomb, these bombs will blow each other up and blow up these guys, but because he has a shield, he doesn't take damage from the first hit. He'll deal one. This will blow up this bomb, which blows up that, and then we deal four and get five. Now what is this? Mrs. Bombs remote? Sure, take it. Drops bombs on every empty space. Tactical board wipe? Don't be stupid about it. Nice. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to leave. Hang on. Take me back here. Thank you. Alright. You want to check this one out? Um, I... Oh, is that a Mox? I think that's a Mox card. Not sure what that's about. I don't know what that symbol is. Let's check the rule book. Uh, sorry. Bear with me while I click through this at a, at a speed that may not be comfortable for your eyes. Okay, gem detonator. When gem vessels on the owner's side of the board die, they detonate the creature opposing them. Okay, so gem vessels. What are gem vessels? Is that just anything that provides mocks? Uh, or these are gem vessels, I guess. I'm not totally sure I understand that. Uh, okay. So zero one doesn't do anything. If we do this, do we just win like that? That will blow us up. Wait, do these just blow up? No, so these things blow up those things, right? But that'll blow him up, which will blow him up. Okay, so we got three because he blew that up, which blows him up. Then he does three. But we need an additional two damage. Um, now that's not going to blow those three up, is it? That would, but that doesn't help us because it doesn't destroy this. Hmm. Hmm. So I feel we need to detonate things on our side of the board, but that's a, this is the only thing we can get on our side of the board. We need to detonate this without detonating this. I don't quite see how that works. Unless we just deal one damage here. A total of four. Hang on, I just want to double check the rule, sorry. Uh, we go over to... Gem detonator. When gem vessels on the owner's side of the board die, they detonate. Hmm. Okay, so how, what are the ways we can get five damage? We have one, two, three, four, five that way, but I don't see how we could deal one here while these two are in the way.
We can get four. Alternatively, we do this. He destroys that which destroys him. Hang on, what am I saying? He doesn't blow up. Why don't we win here? Deals one, removes that. Why are we not winning here, actually? Oh, because the three is destroying that. Oh, and because that. There we go. Jeez, okay. I was being a little bit stupid there. I was I was thinking of the gem detonator as he would detonate. Lonely Wizbot. Who is it? Where are we? Stimulation. Something other than darkness? Many thanks. Do with me what you will. Anything but that infinite darkness. So that's one of the wizard's old pupils. Um, and we just got him as a card. CPU looks a little nonplussed. By the way, the CPU, this is the old stoat card. I don't know if that was obvious, but uh, the, how, the way the old stoat card was turning into a rectangle, that's because he's actually a computer. Um, so we had no real plan on what to do there. So let's do a battle. Hmm. And here's another cool thing, is that the board is actually five lanes now, but it can be blocked off with other things. So when we're on a bridge, the bridge's railings are blocking the outer two lanes, but they are destructible. So so here, these trees are destructible, so we could open up those lanes. Uh, Lonely Wizbot, what does he do? Clinger, when one of your creatures is placed in a space, a card bearing the sigil will move towards them as far as possible. Interesting. That's interesting. Okay, so you can use that to move guys around. Uh, we'll start off by putting an empty vessel down. May as well. You can block things. Uh, actually, hold on. Let's check what this is. Shield Latch. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, its owner chooses a creature to gain the nano armor sigil. That's really strong. Uh, and then a mighty leap with a 1-2. So we're going to block this guy. We don't want to be killing him and giving him shields. As long as we can avoid it. A lonely wisp off. Oh yeah, and the, and the animation is that they shoot guns, which is neat. Uh, sentry, drone, ooh, if only we'd gone in last turn, that would've been really nice to just kill off the leap bot. All right, we'll put a lonely whiz bot though and, and kill off the leap bot that way. Yes, yes. And this does bring in, oh, we're gonna lose a guy. Oh wait, but we can move him. As soon as we play something, a lonely whiz bot's gonna move. Shield latch, we could put something here. He'll move in front of it. Why is this one a 1-1 one, one, and this one a 0-1? Hmm. Um, something else I didn't mention. Well, I'll pick up a card first, sorry. Uh, we got an energy bot and a sentry drone. So that's actually not quite efficient usage of our mana, but that's actually... I'm still happy with it. That's great. Uh, here's a problem. If I put the sentry bot, energy bot... Oh no, that's actually perfect. Kind of. Or do we just play the fish bot? That might be the better play here. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to play the fish bot. The re my thinking on that is if I were to put the energy bot, I'd want to put it so that the lonely whiz bot moves away from the explode bot. So if I put the energy bot over here, the whiz bot moves here, and then that leaves us with just one spot for the sentry drone right here. I mean, we could put him over here, sure, but I'd want to put him here. He shoots the explode bot, explode bot, Well, that's not that bad, is it? We would kill that, and he would kill my sentry bot, which is kind of too bad, but... Removing the shield catcher... isn't terrible. But alternatively, if we put the fish bot down, we kill off the shield latcher before those two guys come in, so he doesn't get to, you know, latch a shield on. And then we can theoretically kill the explode bot later on. Um, actually, that's not gonna work, because the lonely bot will be here. And he'll kill the shield latcher, and it'll give him an explosion. Uh, shield. Uh, yeah, we'll do this this way. I think I prefer that. Hello, friend. Oh, he gave a shield to the tree. That's funny. Alright, we took one. That's okay. Uh, we'll draw a good card. So, there's not really any need for sacrifices. The only reason you pick up the vessels is if you already know what you're doing with your turn, and you are only going to have one energy left. So then you can make more efficient of your energy by putting things down. 
Um, this double gunner's coming in. We want to kind of hold off on... Well, he's going to... Mm -hmm. I was about to say that, but now I'm thinking about it, I might want to put a guy here. Yeah, I think that's what we want to do. We're going to put the sentry drone here. He moves over. He's going to kill the explode bot, killing the shield latcher and himself. Double gunner's going to come in, get killed by the sentry drone. And we are not... Oh, we can play the energy bot now. Or the gift bot. I was, I was going to say we we're not going to play a card because we don't want to kill the shield latcher, but neither of these guys have attack. Let's put the gift bot down. No, I take it back. We're going to put the energy bot down. Gift bot retains its value the longer, as long as we hold it, but the energy bot does not. He loses value over time, since we'll hit maximum energy at some point. And if we had another spot, we could put the gift bot down. What I could actually do, to be honest, that might be a good idea. I think it is, is use the hammer. So this is what we're going to talk about. Much like the other card game that we were playing when we had the wizard deck and so on, um, we can use the hammer to remove a card, which is very freeing. There you go. So we put the card, the gift bot down. When he dies, he'll give us a card. Oh, what? Why did it give us a shield? What? That seems like a misplay by the computer. All right, we'll put the sniper bot down. And when we hit this to play, we get to choose where it shoots. We can shoot anything we want. We'll just shoot ahead anyway. Draw a card. We got a shield bot. Doesn't matter. We can do whatever we like. We win. And in this, for overkill, instead of teeth, you get credits. Uh, now, I have a star above my head, which means... In the next fight, or in any fight, I'm not sure, I will get attacked by a bounty hunter. And what that is, is that's just an extra strong card that gets put on the enemy side of the field. Uh, so, before I reach that second checkpoint, oh yeah, and, and when you lose, you go back to your last checkpoint. Before I reached that second checkpoint last time, I did die to a bounty hunter. It was a, it was a pretty strong card. I honestly, I think I could have won, but I misplayed it. I forgot. It had porcupine on it. And I forgot about that. And that caused me to lose. So I don't know whether I would have won, but I certainly wouldn't have lost as quickly if I paid attention. Uh, all right, so we got Skelly Latcher. What does this guy do? Brittle Latch. When, it, when this card perishes, its owner chooses a creature to gain the Brittle Sigil. What is the Brittle Sigil? Look for that. Brittle. After attacking a card bearing the Sigil perishes. That's kind of cool. So you can put that on an enemy and then they're just going to die when they attack. Bomb latch. This uh, gives something to the detonator, which means they blow up the guys adjacent to them. That's pretty cool. And 49er. Not a fan of this card. So I think the bomb latch has the most potential for being useful, but the skelly latch is pretty cool. Just for removing a guy after they attack, though. Hmm. You know what? Bomb latcher might be better. And it's only one cost, too. So it's, it's just easier to work with. Yeah, let's use that. It does require, have, you know, getting overwhelmed, essentially, but. It can be good. So, we're doing a fight here, and we're expecting a guy with a, a, a bounty hunter to come in. Now, the bounty hunter, uh, he is going to be like a yellowish card. So, it'll be pretty clear. But, we do have some undead guys to fight. Sentry drones, who shoot guys when they come in, or when the guys come in in front of them. So, we want to put things down before the sentry drones get there. Unfortunately, we do not have the energy at the moment. We just have to play an empty vessel. So we'll put that in front of one of the skeletons. And then we'll play and we'll get hit for two. Alright. And then those two guys disappear. Now we are going to get an energy bot and put him down. And so we'll just draw a one cost here. We could draw from our deck and hope for one cost, but instead of hoping, I'd rather just guarantee it. Now we'll put him to block. He cost two, but he gave us one, so we still have one. We put the empty vessel down for one. And now we're just ready to block here. Next turn, I'm putting the shield bot down where the sentry drone is. Hmm. That scalp of yours fetched me a pretty penny last time. So, that's because he got us. But Clayne McBlast is always up for a rematch. So, there he is. He's a 2-5 with Porcupine. Not a crazy card, but with our current stats, it's pretty good. Uh, and the part where I screwed up was I put a double gunner to the side of him. I was like, oh yeah, my double gunner can kill him while I block in front. And then the double gunner hit him once, died to the porcupine, which meant he failed to hit the other guy, and then the other guy just killed me. So, that was a 
big oversight on my part. But we have a... Oh. Okay, alright. So he's telling us to find Lushy around? Deep beneath. Okay. Uh, well, for this turn, we're putting down the shield bot. We could put down the fish bot, actually. Uh, let's put the shield bot down. I'm trying to think of why we would want to use... I think we want to put the shield bot here. There you go. So he got shot once, but then he's he blocked it with the shield. So we could have put the fish bot down and just taken one damage. That would have been better use of the shield. But I think I actually want to put the fish bot here across from Clayne with Blast. So that he uh, gives us a, a card when he dies. So, there you go. Good job, shield bot. Now we are taking one damage from that. Which puts us dangerously close. We are, sorry, I forgot how much. We're at five energy. So we'll draw from here hoping for a two. It is not a two. This is not great. Well, this guy's going to offset, so we just we have to put Fishbot down, which is fine. We were expecting to do that. He'll block one hit, and then he'll die. Shieldbot will deal one to offset the flying guy. And we're sort of in limbo right now. Ooh, okay. So we can put Orobot as a blocker, and then he dies. More fish. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, a random card is created in your hand. I get a feeling the last one was not random. Uh, so we could draw another card and hope. Next card, next turn, we're definitely going to need to start drawing vessels. I guess we don't need to because the skeleton's going to disappear after he hits our shield bot. We do need to deal some damage though. We'll draw a card, and it is a double gunner. Now, if we put the Aurobot bot down, and I should have thought of that. We put the Aurobot down, he hits once, dies to Porcupine, and then Clayne hits us and kills us. So we can't use that to block. But, we could put the Double Gunner down. Take out those two guys. And then block. I think that's a good idea. We've got two of them. Let's do it that way. Yeah, there we go. And then we're removing one damage per turn. So he dies. Oh, and there's another one damage per turn. So for this turn, we will... Uh, oh, shoot. Okay, we got to draw something with three or less cost that deals damage. Oh, yes, that's perfect. This is good. So we can put the more fish in front of Clayne to block him. It's not going to attack him, so it won't die to Porcupine. We can put the sniper bot behind the tree. As long as we don't destroy this tree, we're good. So sniper bot's great. Uh, for this turn, we could technically take a damage. We could deal- oh no, por what am I saying? Porcupine would kill the sniper bot. We're not doing that. See, I'm really bad at remembering that. So, alright, well in this turn, we get to shoot where we want. We just want to deal damage, so we're dealing damage. Oops, give us, a, give us some breathing room. So now he killed off the fish. Great. Bad fish. Uh, it's going to die after attacking. The opposing, creature opposing a card bearing this sigil gains one power. And it only has zero? Am I reading that right? Seems kind of bad. Alright. So, here's another problem. Uh, we only have two health. I wanted to put the double gunner here. Oh yeah, we, no, we, we're okay. We're okay. We're putting the double gunner here. Dealing two. Removing the insect drone. Dealing three with the sniper bot. And then we'll be taking two from that guy, but we'll be alright. He's destroying the dead tree. We need to come up with other blockers. So let's draw a card. We, we're we kind of struggling on this one. Uh, Energy Bot is not a great card for us. But it blocks, I guess. Gunner bot for double gunner. Now this is our big damage dealer. Unfortunately, we are sacrificing him just as a blocker, which is pretty sad. But uh, there you go. So be it. It's keeping us alive. Now we take two, but then those guys die after their turns. 
which means we have a pretty clear field here. Now, it has zero attack. It's annoying, and it dies when it attacks. I don't see why you'd want to use this card. Uh, we can put one, two, three. Hmm. We're just gonna have to keep putting blockers. So, I think what we're going to do... Is use Orobot this turn. Oh, hey, you know what? That's not bad. If they bring in another guy, we could attach a bomb to it to kill off the McLean guy. So we'll use Orobot this turn and put it over here. So we're dealing two damage, he's dealing two damage. We're even. And that way we've got two damage per turn and we can start putting blockers and we're, we'll, be, we'll be gaining on him. I know, like... We're technically gaining on him by one already, but this speeds up the process. We are running out of cards. Somewhat. Uh, we can put a gift pot down. That's good for us. Better than a bad fish. And we can also put down a bomb latcher. I don't know that I want to do that right now. We'll just hold on to these guys. We can prolong... Prolong things. I think he's out of cards, actually. So we just got a Bolt Hound, which is apparently a very good card. Oh, don't get ahead of yourself. Draw a card. Lonely Wizbot. Uh, we could actually put this down and deal two damage. I, I don't think we care at this point. We just want to deal damage to him. We're out damaging him. He doesn't have any cards to follow up with. I like that Sniper Bot. Alright. Well, we won with a bounty on our head. Or what's this? You wish to pass this ice? Well, I suppose I could c c c clear it. A little bit of heat should do the trick. Hey, hey, hey. Not sure what that was about. A little bit of heat. One of them died... Like, I'm thinking of uh, the, the ghouls that we encountered. One of them died of something. Uh, Alright. I'd like to see a map. Do we have a map? Hang on, what's this over here? Oh yeah, we've seen that. Still don't know if that's like a... Just a reference to something, or if I've... Glitched out. Okay, whatever. Sit back down. Um, Yeah, I'd like to see an overview. Oh, sorry, I, I keep hitting W, because... Let's see... Hmm. Alright, well we could do this. I'm not sure what it is. Let me guess what you're thinking. Go back to the waypoint, refresh your items, maybe go to the shop. I actually want you to win, it, but it can't be that easy. You can go back to the waypoint, but all the rogue bots you've cleared in this area will respawn. So, are you sure? I see, I see, okay. So let's not do that then. That's interesting. I'm not the trader or anything, but there's going to be a little give and take here. You'll have to trade one of your cards for one of these. Ooh, okay. Skelly Latcher's not bad. Sentry Drone's not bad either. Hmm. I'm not a fan of Exoskeleton. Skelly Latcher. Well, I mean, it takes care of the bounty guys, so yeah, let's let's do that. Okay, what will you give me? We're taking a Skelly Latcher. We're giving away a. Honestly, the Ourobot's really not that great. Energy, energy Bot, the reason I've got two here, even though the second one would be useless after we pick it up, is just the consistency. It's nice to have him earlier in the, in the... early in the round. If you can play him on the second turn, that's a big boost. So we want to hold on to him. I think I like the gifts. Getting extra cards is nice. Yeah, the Ourobot just... it costs six. That's an entire turn to put down a 1-1. One, one. And sure, you get it back, but... Meh. Getting rid of that. At this point, I don't see a reason to use it. Ooh, what's this? Four Robobucks. Wait, what? Minus four. Pick one of your cards. Oh, okay, we get to boost something. Sniper bot with poison? Could be good. It's no good against Porcupine, though. Um... We 
can we boost the sentry drone more? We could put something on double gunner as like a game ending card. I mean, it worked when we were playing against Lashley. Let's do it. Let me calibrate. Uh, undying double gunner. That's... I think that's good. I don't feel a need to go to anything else. We're taking it. Good. I haven't actually clicked the arrow, so I don't know... <laughs> I don't know if you, like... If you choose something else, whether it lets you go back or not. But... Now we have a double gunner instead of that Orobot. Which is a little bit better. Twice the damage, no, quadruple times the damage, technically. Split across two lanes. Uh, bomb Latcher and autom Automaton with two attack. I've seen those guys with one attack before. Well, we only have one choice on our first turn. Let's block the two attack guy. And then we are drawing... Now, we don't have... We don't have an energy bot, so our, it looks like we're using Lonely Wiz bot, then Sniper bot. Or Shield bot, actually. Shield bot's more likely. And there's our energy bot, so... Yeah, that's unfortunate. I'd rather take something out right now with the Lonely Wiz bot. Do that. But... Ooh. Hang on. He's flying, so he's not hitting us anyway. So if we put something here, he attaches a bomb to one of our guys. But Lonely Wizbot moves over, doesn't get hit by the Insect to Drone, and then he'll hit it on his next turn. So I think that's a really good idea. Oh, actually, if we put the Energy Bot down there, he doesn't hit the Bomb Launcher. Wouldn't hurt to take him out, though. Uh, we could put a Shield Bot... Hmm. Thing is, we, don't, we really don't want to have a Bomb on our side of the field. This bomb match is going to have one attack as well. If we put down two, we'll have two remaining energy. I'd rather just do something more efficient by playing a sniper or a shield bot. I think we'll use a sniper. Oh, I have to draw a card. Yeah. Well, maybe we get a two energy thing. We got a bomb latcher. We got a bomb latcher. That's not bad. We'll hold on to it. Yeah, we'll play the sniper bot right away. Because if we put him down... Then we can shoot the bomb latcher on the other side of the arena. Does that benefit us over just killing the bomb latcher on the other side of the arena? Yeah, actually, I take it. Oh, we can put the shield bot beside something that has a bomb on it for safety. We'll use this guy first. All right. And that's our turn, so we'll do that. He'll shoot the bomb latcher to, you know, prevent the bomb latcher from killing him. And he put a bomb on the railing. I didn't even consider that was a possibility. Even though we saw them put a shield on the tree before. We are close to death. Um, so we could play a two and then a three. I think that's a good turn. And we don't even have anywhere to put the three, actually, so... We can just play a three, I guess. Scale a latcher. So this is six health though, so it's never gonna blow up. Double gunner's gonna come in and kill our lonely Wizbot. Too bad for him. Um We are going to shoot down the bomb latcher. Yeah, let's just get doing some damage. Shoot about going. Uh, he's shooting down. Oh, that's irrelevant. Shieldbot would take him out too. Oh, that is relevant. That's very relevant because it means we lose. That is sad. Wait. One, two, three, four. Oh, one more and then we lose. Okay. Phew. Very close. Very close. That was that was a good play by the computer. I don't know if it's completely random or if he actually chose to do that. If he chose to do that, that was smart. Hey, we got a double gunner. Uh, six energy, we only have five. I did not count. So we'll put down... Doesn't really matter what we put down. We might as well put this guy down. Sure. And we'll shoot that guy, obviously. Alright. So we do have blockers. Very good. 
Draw a card. We got the good double gunner. It's unkillable. Now, shield bot's coming in and killing something. So we're just going to... Uh, what are we going to do here? It's awkward either way. Yeah, we'll take it slow. We're dealing more damage. We're fine. Okay, and we'll put Brittle on the shield bot. Because that means he'll just die when he next attacks. So then we can put whatever we like down here. We can put a bomb latcher on him. I think that's a great idea. I think that's a brilliant idea. Watch this. Bomb Latcher. He'll get hit by the shield bot. Hopefully he triggers the bomb before he dies. And then when he dies, he'll blow up the two guys next to him. And with our sniper bot, we can shoot the empty spot while the shield bot shoots the empty spot as well. We get to put the bomb. Oh, it's already latched. Too bad. Alright, that's not quite what we were hoping for. Uh, that means our shield bot... No, our shield bot's gonna live. That's fine. We'll put it... Double, oh yeah, we have to draw a card first. Then we'll put a double gunner right here. He will remove. Doesn't matter which one he removes. Okay, so he put it on the railing. Sure. Then you put it on him. He exploded. The shield bot already had a shield, so that's fine. It removed the railing, but we still won. And we had one overkill damage, so we got a credit. What is this? Oh, it's a waypoint. Your items are replenished. And those bots back there are permanently offline. Yeah. So we can look here, we can teleport to another waypoint, I guess. Uh, we're just gonna keep going in the direction we're going. What a depressing abode. You have to be here to defeat the resident Uber bot. But I don't think you'll want to stay long. Uh, what is this? This is a cool one. I'll overclock one of your cards, give it an attack buff. But if it dies, it's gone forever. That's not a cool one. I don't want that. I guess that would be good on one of the guys who already has Brittle. How much of an attack buff? What would we put this on? We could put this on the gift bot or something. Because then it dies and gives us a card. We don't mind that. Oh no, it disappears forever. What am I saying? Eh. Yeah. We'll put it on an energy bot. You know, what I was saying about it being consistent before. It's not the end of the world if we lose it. Alright. Alright. We got one attack. But now it'll lose. It'll die. I don't know. I don't think that's a very good card. Uh, very good effect, I mean. So we can go left, straight, right. Let's go right. That's an enemy. That's a table. Let's go check the left way. Ooh, card. Uh, sniper bot. I love sniper bot. We're taking that. And... Is this a trade? Ready to trade. Can I choose not to trade? Um... Bolt Hound. 2-2, two, two, he blocks things. That's not bad. There's a lot of latchers. You know what? Uh, we'll take it, and if we get an overcharge, we'll put overcharge on him. Choose a card to give me. Right, we gotta get rid of something. <laughs> Do we just get rid of the energy bot? It's going to die anyway. Or it's going to disappear anyway? I feel like that is the answer here. Yeah, sure. Okay. We overclock something just to get rid of it. So here's the trapper. What happens if we click this? Oh! What? Okay. We did it. Alright, interesting. We can go fight something up here. Let's just check the last path. Ooh, this looks like a boss. What is this? Halt, we require a commitment to pass. You must agree to grant access to the archivist. Do you agree to that grant access? It is important. 
You must sign this contract. Oh, you cannot sign this contract. You do not have a writing utensil. Oh, yes. I hate it when people want me to sign a contract, but they don't provide a writing utensil. Um... We have... An an a sentry drone. We have a choice for our first turn. Well, let's take out the leap bot. Cool. Anything coming into this lane dies. I guess overclocking a sentry drone isn't a terrible idea. Then it has an attack, and it's already like a, a poison sentry drone. I guess you can't probably can't put it on it if it already has two sigils. Uh, shield latcher. Draw a card here. We're gonna get an energy bot, and we already have an empty vessel we can put down. We can also put down a bomb latcher. We'll just do... We'll have four on our next turn. We'll put the ener We'll put the empty vessel here. Oh, sorry, hold on. Wrong order. We'll put the energy bot here. Put the empty vessel here, and he'll just block for two turns. And so on our next turn, we already have the two cards we're going to be playing, and we have another sniper bot. Pretty cool. We'll put them over here, and we'll put the bomb latcher over here. Yeah. And he can shoot the shield latcher before if his allies come down. So now we have a shield on our sentry drone. Thank you very much. That overclock idea is, is actually quite interesting, now I think about it. If you, if you come up with a way to keep something immortal, Keep something unkillable. It'll always have plus one. Plus one's a big deal with these low attack cards. We have a Bolt Hound. We have a Sniper Bot still. Now that guy's coming in. That's too bad. So he's going to kill our Sniper Bot. He'll hit our Sentry Drone. And then we will have to put something in to kill him. That's, a, that's an unfortunate location. Hmm. If we were to sacrifice our bomb latch right now. No, that wouldn't work. Never mind. Never mind. I just realized that that doesn't really work out that way. But we still could. What would we put the bomb on? We, we'd put the bomb on the Insector Drone. Shoot the Insector Drone with the Sniper Bot. Then he's forced to give a shield to one of our guys. Maybe he puts on our Sniper Bot. In fact, I would destroy the Energy Bot for that. I would destroy all... Yeah, all... We guarantee we have a shield. Hold on. I'm a genius. Remove the bomb latcher. He goes on the insector drone. Pick up that hammer. Hit the energy bot. Pick up that hammer. Destroy the empty vessel. And pass our turn. Then we guarantee we keep both of these guys. Unless he's able to put it on the guy who already has a shield. I don't think he can. No, because he has already got something latched. Destroy that. Destroys that. He has to put on the sniper bot. Brilliant. And we'll just draw a card. It's a double gunner. We're going to put that double gunner down. He's unkillable. End of turn. And we'll shoot the double gunner. Pick up another double gunner. Oh, only with spot. Not bad though. Two, two uh, energy for two attack is good. We can put them wherever we like because we're winning this turn. Got him. Look at all the money. Ah, well. We got a feather. We got money. Okay. So there is a well like that in the undead person's place, which I think we're in the undead person's place. It's kind of obvious. Um, and when we did that a second time, we got like a card pack or something out of it before. Again, yeah. By before, I mean in like the overworld overworld, I guess the more realistic world where all four scribes are equal. Um, 
Skeleton, sentry drone, sentry drone, skeleton. That's a lot of damage we're taking right off the bat. We only have one choice. Block one of the skeletons. And then they died. So we can put the shield bot down and destroy one of the sentry drones, but I kind of wonder if we have any reason to actually destroy the sentry drone. Just leave him there and he blocks the enemies, guys. Although like, it does block a spot where we could put a sniper bot. Um, next turn, we are putting an energy bot, so we'll pick up one of these so that we have a guaranteed thing to do with our energy. Uh, we'll put the energy bot down here, put the vessel right there. And he's... Ooh. Oh, honey, don't cry. I'm Gear McBolt. I'll make it swift. Mm, we have a total of four. We're better off. Ooh. What the heck is this? He's got three. Annoying. Gains one power. That's kind of nice. Uh, swapper. After card bearing, the sigil is dealt damage. Swap its power and health. Oof. And Guardian. So things deal more damage to it. And then he swaps his power and health. That's interesting. Shield bot's good against him. Quite good against him. That's nice. We might want to actually get rid of this empty vessel. And just put the sniper bot down there. And we'll have another empty vessel across from the dude. Yeah. So maybe I should instead of wow. Because of the way the energy thing works, we kind of want to put cards down whenever we can, right? Before with Leshy, it was fine to hold on to cards and see what would happen because you could play all the cards in your hand if you had the sacrifices on the board. Um but with this one you, you have to manage things a little bit or you have a little bit less control over your management. You have to put things down as soon as you can, really. So we're putting the empty vessel down. On second thought, I should have just taken the energy bot out. Because he's going to fly over us anyway. That was a bad play on my part. We're blocking that. We're putting the sniper bot here. And we're just going to clear up some space by removing a sentry drone. Alright. Um, now, we're taking damage. We have five, so we'll hope for our two costs. We didn't quite get it. That's alright. We're playing against this guy, so our shield bot will take care of him for a bit. And deal two damage to him. That's helpful. But yeah, he's going to survive for a while. That's a cool card. Now we'll do this, and we will shoot the insect drone out. No! He's going to kill our scout or sniper rifle. Alright, draw a card. We got another sniper bot. Wonderful. Not much to do with the fish bot. We're holding on to the fish bot for when Gear McBolt. Oh. If we play the sniper bot, Gear McBolt moves over to the sniper bot. Hmm. Hang on. But he didn't move over. Oh, because there was something in front of this. No, there wasn't. I am confused. How did he not move over? When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space. This was empty, I believe. When we put the sniper bot down. He should have moved over. Oh, maybe he did, and then we put the shield bot down after? Oh, I'm very confused about how the timing worked out there. Mm, so we could put fish bot down and hit the sentry drone. That's an option. Just to make some use of our turn. Um, we're going to need guys for gear McBolt, though. Hmm. What do we do? Okay, we'll hold on to this. Next turn, Skeleton's taking out our Sniper Bot. He's taking out our Shield Bot. So next turn, we'll put Sniper Bot down, we'll put Fish Bot down. I think Sniper Bot's probably going to shoot this guy. So he's going to become 
we shoot him with sniper bot right now, he's going to become a 3-4. Then he gets by shield, hit by shield bot. He becomes a 2-3. Golly, that's a really strong... Swapping is really strong if you're high on both of them. Um... If we were to draw our sentry drone next turn, our sentry drone has poison, he could just kill off gear McBolt right away. That would be good. So maybe we just deal one damage as is. Yeah. We could turn him into a... Th oh, hang on. No, we can turn him into a 3-2 right now. Which means... Our next guy will kill him. That's what we do. Whereas if we left him, our next guy would deal 2 damage to his 3 health. Or 4 health. And then he'd be a 2-2. Two, two. Uh, and he would survive longer. So we'll, we'll pick this up. Double gunner. Ooh. If only there weren't a sentry drone there. Flying guy's coming in. Ooh, he's dealing 1. Oh, that's okay. We're going to be dealing 1 with our sniper bot. So we put sniper bot down. And then we put Fishbot down over here. He kills the Gear McBolt, and then he gets hit by the Skeleton, and he still survives. Ouch, it's alright, darling. Remember the name Gear McBolt, I'll be back. I like it. Uh, we can remove the Sentry Drone or take back a damage. I think we take back a damage right now. Now, we could put Double Gunner down. Ooh, Sentry Drone. Shoot down the flying guys. I like that plan. I like that plan. We gotta remove the Sentry guys. Um. Bam. Now we got another double gunner. This time... Fishbot's going to die. This time we're removing that energy. What? Putting down our double gunner. Um, we'll put the undying one here. So he'll deal two, remove the insect drone. Sniper bot can take out that sentry drone. We're in good shape right now. Look at that. They're coming in with their own... Yes! Double. Oh, that was quite loud. Uh, good fish. What the heck is this? <laughs> Sentry, porcupine, sniper. You may choose which... Oh yeah, of course, sniper. It's okay. It's, it's pretty good. It's That's a pretty good card. Not crazy. I wouldn't have yelled yes over that. Uh, let's draw a card. Oh, we're doing double gunner because we just win this turn if we do that. Go for it. Ooh, $26. Another star on your head. Your bounty is higher. Ooh, okay. Bounty hunters of a higher caliber may come calling. They're already pretty tough. What is this? Money? We are grave robbers now. Okay, so I need a key. Let's go here and we can now sign a contract. You have brought a fine quill. Please sign here that you agree to give access. Thank you. Do not forget your agreement. Ooh, I forget what we're giving access to. Oh, we got a waypoint. Any items are back online. Bot spawners offline. There it is, the uber bot you sought. These idiotic librarians worship it, as it sits here covered in filth and grime. Ready to clean it up? Oh, I guess so. Oh look, it's boss time. Unpacking archivist.zip. Applying personality matrices. Cleaning up some temp files. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Ah, greetings. If you had not gleaned it from the title of my zip file, I am the archivist. I eagerly await the opportunity to explore your hard drive. 
Files and directories are my specialty, you see. Hmm. Well, not bad. Okay, he's coming in with some damage. Force, so we can't attack these? Repulsive. Wow. They can be destroyed by bombs, though. So if we get a bomb latcher and latch some bombs. We do not have a bomb latcher in hand at the moment. Oh, hang on. What's dead bite? When a card bearing the sigil perishes, select a file. Place damage on the scales according to the file's size. That seems pretty bad for us. So he deals damage to us when his guys die? That's kind of nasty. We might struggle here. We'll see. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, no, no, no. Maybe that's dealing damage to him. Sorry. So we're going to pick up one of these to have a guaranteed blocker. Put our energy bot down here. We gain one. Put a blocker there. Okay, this might actually be totally fine. If if dealing, killing those guys gives us damage, that would be good. Uh, we are at four. We have guaranteed threes in hand. Now this guy is going to make one of them brittle. This guy is going to deal one damage. One, one, one. I think I'd rather take the fish bot for right now. And vessel right here. And we are at a point where we can draw from this. We got a shield bot, which isn't bad, but we'll take the Skele Latcher at first. So what he can do... We don't have enough to play another card. Go with that. Oh, I should have it inquired sooner. You will need to grant me access to your hard drive. Would you please acquiesce? I assure you, no harm will come of it. Grant inscription.exe permission to access your hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. I can only choose yes. That's good, I like that. I'll take the right yes, please. Here comes your actual files. I hope no one is watching. Now, do recommend an exemplary file to me. And do take into account its size. Its magnitude, its, its bulk. Okay, so I gotta find a large file? Wait a second. Is this dealing damage to him or to me? Okay, let's see what happens. We're going to pick up uh, just one of my video files. Those are pretty big. Uh, hold on, let's think about which... Oh, off the top of my head, I'm not too sure how... Which ones are big. Hmm... What's funny is I just cleared off... I just cleared off some large files. They would have been good. Well, whatever. We'll just pick a, pick a file. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. It shows the text size for how big they are, I guess. Okay, there's an 8 gigabyte. We'll take the 8 gigabyte file. My word! This file! It is... I may say, it is colossal! Bravo! Alright, that's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, we get to apply Brittle to something. We're going to apply it to this library in here. And we can draw... We'll draw a vessel. Because the vessel we put down in front of this librarian is just going to block one, and then the librarian is dying to Brittle. This shield butt will, will kill this librarian. This is a great fight. Again, do choose a file. Its file size will be paramount. So we're just going to go back and... Can we choose the same file again? It... I was about to say, they better not have just deleted my file. That would be awful. Okay, so we cannot pick the same file again. But I'm sure I can find another. Here we go. Uh, 3 gig... Wait, 23 gigabyte file? What? Why is one of my files 23 gigabytes? All right. Magnificent! It is gargantuan. I gotta look at... 
how long that video is. Please select a file. This one, however, is very special. Choose a file that is dearest to your heart, and one that shows age. Ooh, age. An old file? Um... This is cool. This is cool. Actually, I guess most stuff's on my other, my old computer. I probably only have things going back to 2020 then. Kind of surprised. Some of these things should be older. Yeah, I guess... Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of June 2020, which is, I guess, when I got this computer, so... That would be as far back as it goes. I don't know how much this actually matters. I just want to find the oldest thing I can. <laughs> okay, so the oldest we can get is, is 2020. Very well. <laughs> um, it's not going to delete the file, is it? There's no way you would delete this file after saying pick something near and dear to your heart, right? Like, I'm, I, they would get sued if they deleted files. There's no way they would do that. I just don't want to pick something and have it disappear. Now, let us place that file in a card. You didn't choose a file that was too dear, did you? For if this card dies, I will delete this file from your, the file from your disk. Please do not tempt me. I am completely serious. Shall we see what that looks like? <laughs> okay. Marvelous. This file is not short-lived. A file that's this mature is easily a 3-3. Is that because it's three years old? Um... Hostage file. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, the file used to create it is really deleted from your hard drive. That is so funny. Well, I don't I don't care if I lose this file. That's fine. That's totally fine. I could also, I guess, just go and back it up. But that's so funny. Uh, how am I on mana? I'm good on mana, so let's draw one of these cards. We got a double gunner. There's some trees in the way. Uh, yeah. We'll put the double gunner on this side. Yep. Get him. Dude, I, I I honestly, I kind of hope it does delete the file just because that's so cool. Like, they gave you a warning. He said, I, I'm completely serious. That's so cool. But we're still going to just, like, use what's most efficient. I mean, it's a 3-3 for two. That's really good. Hang on. It's way better than a bad fish. We're not playing a bad fish. So let's put the sniper bot here and put the <laughs> palm three theory crafting uh, So in case you didn't know, I used to play a fair amount of Heroes of Might and Magic, and that's not so much theory crafting as just figuring out the stat distribution for the different factions. All right, I thought I had you. Oh well, you weren't even close. You've made a few correct deck building decisions, I guess, and you're lucky. That's hilarious. I love that. Okay, cool. So, just like just like we were doing um, in the overworld, beating the boss of the area gives us uh, like you know, a light on the monolith, and then we can go back and presumably we'll have won this section of the game. Remember your side deck? That useless thing with all the empty vessels? It's about to get less useless. Oh, your pick will be installed on every empty vessel card. Oh, this is just like having a totem. Can I click? Okay. Giving my empty vessels a shield is pretty good. Giving them porcupine is pretty cool. I like that. Or flying. Shield or porcupine. I feel the shield is better. But having porcupine on all my blockers is more fun, so we're going to take that. It might even be bad for us at some points. Interesting. I'm not sure that was right, but they all have sharp quills now. Yeah, I, I, I feel the shield would have been much better, actually, in retrospect. That's alright. Because there's times when you want to hold them back, so you can, like, use... Memory card is full. Oh. Okay. New memory card inserted. Uh, all right. Well, hello there, card gamers. Um, looks like my garage sale hunting days have finally paid off. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Is this an old video? Yes, 
I didn't pay attention to the dates, actually. You know what that is? Inscription. You know what that is? Vintage packs of inscription. Four of them. I don't know if the woman knew what these are worth. I mean, I felt a little bad buying them off of her. But I mean, she's probably doing okay living in this part of town. I mean, it's like, it's a nice part of town, you know? And, uh, you don't have to feel bad if she's the one that them away if put I the price on them. Right? Right. Okay. Big pack opening video incoming! Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! What would an inscription physical card game look like? The whole fun part of the inscription game has been modifying cards. Um, all right, we'll watch these. We'll watch these. I was going to say, I don't particularly care to watch these, but we will. Time to get to the bottom of this. Oh, did we see that? I don't know if... I don't know if that was part of the part that I didn't record. So he actually had somebody come by... Hello? to his house and tell them to give him back the Hi, hello. Is this Mrs. Hobbs? The floppy disk version of inscription. Hi, my name is Luke. They like we're very strange about oh, it. Oh, it's very nice to speak with you as well, Mrs. Hobbs. Um listen, I was at your garage sale the other day and I No. No. <laughs> Everything's fine. Thank you. Um I was just wondering if you remember those playing cards that you sold me? Those Yes! Yes! Those ones! Inscription. Yes. They were your daughters? Would it be possible for me to speak with her? Oh no. She passed, isn't she? Oh. Oh, no, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, it was a while ago. That's still... Terrible. Oh, I don't see empathy on his face. Really, I'm. I'm sorry to have bothered you, ma'am. Her name was Casey. Oh no. Sorry. What? She worked for inscription. I mean, she worked for Game Funa. Ma'am, would it be possible? I see. Why would okay, she have yeah, brought that um, up? Do you think it'd be alright if I called you back later? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of something. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Alright, have a good dinner. Bye. Well, Casey was a pretty good card. We, I think we won a round with her? Pretty sure. Um. These articles mentioned down really? in what? <laughs> oh my god. No one was killed at the facility, though tragically young video game developer Casey Hobbs died from fire related complications. Fuck. She was working late at the facility, performing quality Wait. assurance on behalf of her employer, Game Fuma. But didn't he say that nobody died at the facility and then it says she died in a fire at the facility? Is that meaningful? Pig face 3k pig face. Uh, so errors, I'm not going to click on that. It's just, you know, epilepsy. Someone is here. Fuck this. I would be calling the police. My phone's in the other room, so oh. if I die before I can call 911. <laughs> Use this tape as evidence. <laughs> Alright. Uh, and then we're not going to click on those just because I don't particularly like the static and loud noise. Uh, Alright. So, yeah, anyway, as I was kind of saying and then I stopped so we could let him speak. Uh, there was a video where a lady actually came to his door demanding uh, he give the inscription floppy disk and she actually like went past his locked gate and stuff so obviously that company's not super reputable uh, dank crypt okay so that's that one monolith we could go up here and fight the leshy area go over here and fight the wizard area 
and uh, and the CPU area. How do I get out of the map? Oh, I just have to click on that. Jeez. <laughs> I was like, kind of lost there trying to figure out how to get around. Uh, or how to get out. So, we just did that fight. But we gotta go over here. Okay, we still can't head in there. Alright, fair enough. But, I think we've explored everything else. So let's teleport. Uh... I want to leave Leshy. Well, we'll leave the CPU guy for last. We'll go to the Leshy next. <laughs>